In this video, we shall demonstrate the procedure of surfactant administration. Surfactant administration is done for treatment of moderate to severe hyaline membrane disease. This algorithm depicts the indications of surfactant therapy in preterm infants. Two persons should undertake the procedure under aseptic technique. Correct placement of the endotracheal tube must be confirmed before administration. Baby must be stabilized on ventilator before administration. Vital signs of the baby should be monitored throughout the procedure. Follow manufacturer's instructions carefully. For surfactant administration, we will require spirit and betadine, sterile gloves, 10 ml syringe, surfactant in appropriate dose, bag and mask with oxygen supply, suction catheter with wall mounted suction, orogastric tube and sterile blade. Using 3 swab technique, clean the surface of the surfactant file. Load the drug in the prescribed dosage in a 5 ml syringe. Do not shake the bottle to prevent formation of excessive froth. Measure the distance that is tip to lip distance plus adapter length plus 0.5 cm. Alternatively, one can take another ET tube and measure the length. Cut a 5 French orogastric tube distally at the measured length. Attach surfactant filled syringe to the hub of the orogastric tube. Keep the baby supine and do not change position of the baby during the procedure as change of position has not been shown to influence the efficacy. Disconnect the ET from ventilator and insert the desired length of orogastric tube. Instill a quarter of the dose with head in midline position. Reconnect the ventilator. Ensure that the heart rate and oxygen saturation stabilize before giving the next aliquot. Now give another quarter dose and repeat the process until the drug is fully administered. If an adapter is available with a side port, give slowly through the porthole while still on ventilator. Increase the FiO2 by 0.05 to 0.1. Monitor the baby closely for signs of improvement. Avoid suctioning for at least 2 hours after the procedure. One can keep a watch on the pressure volume loop in ventilator graphics to see the improvement in compliance. Thank you.